Hello everyone and welcome back to the Jake Jackson Road to Glory. I apologize for the delay in posting this episode too. There's an issue in the game right now where it's basically impossible to earn a decent amount of skill points and so you can't really get that much better as a quarterback very quickly and I think especially as a two-star recruit it's near impossible to get better. I've seen clips of people saying that they're still only about an 80 overall in their like junior and senior seasons which I'm glad it's a little bit harder than Madden superstar mode but there is definitely a line that they probably crossed a little bit to make it just a touch too difficult so i was hoping there'd be a tuning update but i don't think there has been so we're back we're gonna do our first start and just kind of go from there we've got our weekly agenda oh we're doing our first start today we need to make sure that we are not injured also i think i need to start focusing a little bit more on getting followers so we're gonna put a point into that we're gonna put a second point into that one point into studying two more points into the brand and then one into recovery so that we have no risk of injury going into our first career start and by the way if you don't remember our first career start is against ohio state at least it looks like we're at home though so we won't have to deal with the ohio state stadium pulse which would have been absolutely brutal here's the standing so far in the big 10 there's a lot of really good teams in the big 10 rutgers apparently being one of them this year they're eight and one oregon is seven and three washington eight and two maryland is seven and two penn state is six and three and we're kind of right smack dab in the middle at four and five imagine if we can manage to upset ohio state well, let's not waste any time let's get into the first career start for jake jackson i know i haven't done the practice that's okay we're gonna skip it for this week well at least jake jackson gets to make his debut in front of the home faithful but you guys have to promise that if i play terribly you won't make fun of me because we're going up against ohio state who i think is like the second highest rated team in the entire game we're gonna get killed man there's nothing i'm gonna be able to do immediately it's three to nothing but i mean hey at least the defense held them to a field goal by the way i cannot call my own plays so we do just have to go with whatever the coach puts in front of us i do get 15 play changes per game but it's not like I get to choose the play. It's just like two additional plays that I get to pick from. Uh, all of which kind of suck as we're immediately under pressure. Kind of anticipated that there would be some pressure today. The Buckeyes are a very good football team. We've got the running back. Oh my God, I almost drilled the ref in the head. But we get it to the running back. It's a first down. Gotta learn our teammates' names, by the way. Hyman, the third. Like H-I-M-O-N, pronounced like Simon. Hyman? Or is it Himon? However, it's pronounced. He's getting the ball here. And he gets one whole yard. Congrats. Maybe we'll just win against Ohio State. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Nope, I'm going to throw a pick immediately. Oh, my God, that was scary. Who is that that is just massive? Is that a corner? Oh, no, that's a linebacker. He's the middle linebacker now in the middle of the field. He's absolutely ginormous. It doesn't even make sense. I just try to get that to the running back, but it falls incomplete. And that's fourth down. Hooray. And now it is 10 to nothing. So here we are, you know, just already losing. It was inevitable. We, oh my God, we always knew it was going to happen. Second quarter is underway. It's second and 17. We'll go to the ground on a draw play and that loses three more yards. I'm telling you guys, we're going to get absolutely killed. I know Northwestern is not a bad team, but we are legitimately going up against one of the best teams in college football history. You know what? I'm happy to just get those eight yards we got. It's now 17 to nothing. Who knows if we'll even score today? We probably won't. But hey, we're probably going to be passing a lot, so that's fun at the very least. So you try to get this to the tight end. Did we sneak it in the window? I feel like we did. The tight end couldn't hold on. Third and four. Jake back to throw. Going to dump it off. Is that enough for a first? He didn't even catch it. So absolutely no, it's not. You guys see that I was also instantly under pressure again as the defense appears to have gotten a stop. Look at us. Taking the ball back. Six minutes left in the second. Oh, oh, dude, I thought the running back had a lane there. We're basically just not going to have any time to throw ever, especially when they send blitzes like this. But we get it off, and it's a first down to number 17. Still don't know my teammates' names. I'm a little too stressed about Ohio State to do any name learning right now. Hand off to the running back because I can't audible, even though I could see the blitz. Like, stop running the ball. Second and 14, we're going to do a draw play. Great. Oh, actually, you know what? That worked pretty well. So I kind of like the slot fade here. We're going to lob it up. The slot fade. Did it work? It did. Touchdown, Northwestern. A lobbed up throw from Jake Jackson finds his wide out, who I will eventually learn the name of. With four minutes left in the second, we get our first career passing touchdown. Reggie Florima. 
the junior wide receiver is the one who gets the touchdown grab. 17 to seven, the defense actually got another stop. Wait just a minute. You might have an opportunity here to do something crazy. All right, second and 10, as we're back to pass again, and we've got a man open to the right side. Not quite a first, it'll be third and one. We need to go faster. Only a minute and 27, 25 seconds left now. Jackson back to pass. Over the middle, finds his man. Does he hold on? He does, through the contact. Second and eight. Minute left. Jackson back to pass. Has a man down the field. Oh, dude. I should have thrown it sooner. I panicked. Third and eight. This is a pretty big third down here. So we'll go over the middle of the field to Florima, our new favorite target. That was a big blitz from Ohio State. We get it off, though. We get the first. The first start for Jake Jackson going pretty well so far. 52 seconds. So we get this one to the tight end. Is that lobbing because I have just the weakest arm ever? I'm holding the button for quite a while. I feel like it should not be a lob, but it is anyway. As we'll get this to the running back on the screen. Stiff arms one man, but goes down. We'll call a timeout. First and 10 from the 21. Jake Jackson back to pass. No, we're going to lose the ball. Really? No time to throw for Jake Jackson. He coughs it up, trying to step up in the pocket. And Ohio State takes over. So we won't get any points before half. Oh, wait a minute. We could potentially get points before the half. First and 10 with 12 seconds left in the second quarter. We've got a man wide open. I mean, they're just giving us this stuff for free. We'll call a timeout and we'll just like lob one towards the end zone, see if we get lucky. They called like a, one of these Hail Mary plays and they just never work. I never call these types of plays, but here we go. We'll give it a shot, lob it up for the receiver, see if he can make something happen. It's out of reach. And we head to halftime. Could be going worse though. I mean, 17 to seven is not all that bad against Ohio State. We do start with the ball here in the second half. Wow, I made the quarters 11 minutes. I forgot about that. It's gonna be a run play to start the second half and it's gonna lose yards. It's gonna be a long freaking day for Northwestern at this rate. Jackson back to pass. As a man, not a great throw. Oh, and it's dropped. Makes it third and 12 and I hate this like four verticals all go type of play. We do have a man down the field though. I put way too much on it, but he made the grab because he was by himself and he gets to the 11. First and 10, Northwestern. Florima apparently is my favorite. So from the 11, we're gonna hand this off to our star running back. I think his name is Cam Porter, if I'm remembering. Oh my God, I am remembering correctly, look at that. Now it's second and five. We'll go to the air and oh my God, I, I'm so scared, I'm so scared in the pocket. Maybe I should run. Should I run? Should I channel my inner Tyler Gibson? Oh, absolutely not. I should not have. I shouldn't have. That's on me. And now I backed this up. And now it's a longer field goal. And now we might not get points. And oh my God. We actually didn't get points. No way. In the 18. Like, I know I can't kick, but surely the AI can kick. Golly. Hand off up the middle. Okay. Big run. It's to the 43. I mean, we were always going to lose to Ohio State, right? Hey, look, this is like my favorite play in the UConn dynasty. It's the jet touch pass. It always works so well going to my main man, Victor Rosa. It does not work particularly well here, only getting us three. Second and seven from the 46. Go over the middle, finding our man, and he holds on. Road to Glory is so different from like NFL superstar mode because... In the NFL, it really is like any given team, any given Sunday can win. And it is kind of that in college football, but it is way less common for a bad team like Northwestern to beat a goaded team like Ohio State. And Northwestern, they're not that bad, but absolutely much worse than Ohio State. There's no denying it. Huh? Put your hands up, wide receiver. Hello? This was a wide receiver screen, and my wideout just... Huh? <laughs> Third and seven after all that from the 28. Jackson back to pass. Wants a man over the middle. That throw was so awful. Jack, move. Why, why was he standing still for so long? This is a pick six, isn't it? Where did that throw go? Dude, somebody tackle him. Oh my God. Nobody knows how to tackle. Pick six for Caleb Downs. So stupid. Let me see the replay. Show me the replay. No, I can't look at the replay. That player was open. The throw was just super weak and completely out of reach because Jake Jackson completely sucks. It's 31 to seven in the third. 
Why are we running the ball? And now my favorite wide receiver is injured. Great. The season's over. Let's go home. Actually, we are home. Let's go even further home. Oh, first running attempt for Jake Jackson, sliding down. First and 10 from the 38, man in motion, fake jet touch pass. But then we're gonna throw it to him anyway. Surely he breaks one tackle, he does not, four yards. I am starting to use my ability to override the play, but the options it's giving me are not great. I just don't know why they're so hell bent on, what are you doing? What, a, huh? I don't know why they want to run the ball so bad when we're down as much as we are, but that's like all the plays I'm getting. Look to throw with Jackson over the middle and he'll get to the 45. Like, Why are we running power O with one quarter left in the game? We'll hand it off and you're not gonna run up the hole that you had on the left side? What is this ball carrier vision? Yo, this is actually crazy. Here's that wide receiver screen where Kurtz didn't even put his hands up last time. Let's see if he does so this time. We'll throw it to him. Oh my God, he put his hands up and he caught it. Look at that. Oh my God, it worked really well. Okay, that play's kind of good. First and 10 from the 27 as we'll... Oh no, I pressed the wrong button, please. Oh my God, I'm so used to the running back being R1. The running back was triangle, very much not R1. And I completely pressed the wrong button and then I panicked. Second and 10, Look to throw again. And no time, fantastic. Third and 17. Personally, third and 17, my favorite down in distance. I don't know if that's just me, anyone else sort of feel that way. I'm gonna send one of my guys deep. Oh, I have the post. Is that called a post? It's not, it's a corner. But it worked! It's first and 10 to the 11. The post is the one that goes inside. That most definitely went to the outside. I don't like this play call at all from basically goal to go territory. I, yeah, I don't know. That, I don't like that play call, that's awful. Anyway, second and 15 from the 16. We'll get it to the running back or try to. It is incomplete. Third and 15 and the OC wants read option. My brother in Christ, like, what are we doing? Uh, do we want to win? I don't think we do. And now the kicker's gonna, oh, actually we're not kicking. Fourth and 14, all go. Okay, 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 okay. We look to throw, stepping up. As there's room to run to the right side, Jake Jackson touchdown on the ground. A rushing touchdown for the quarterback. Jake Jackson. Chris Paul hits a three to drop the score from 45 to 42 or whatever that stupid meme is. 31 to 14. Never mind, we're going for the two point conversion, but we're running it. I should have used my override. All right, from the three, we'll hand it off up the middle. Oh, he got in there. Oh my God, he got drilled, but he got in there. Two point is good, it's 31 to 15. Wait just a minute, there's a chance. We could still beat Ohio State, it's 31 to 15 feel like we're playing admirably. Like we're not playing well, but we're playing like enough where if your dad was watching this on the TV, they'd be like, you know what? Northwestern has a pretty good team this year. Second and four from the 45, Jackson back to pass. Dump it off to the running back, make somebody miss. Nope. Third and four. I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna run. Never mind. I'm not going anywhere. Fourth and five from the 44. We'll look to throw. Oh, please. That has to get the first down. It does to the 47, we gotta hurry it up. There's only three and a half minutes left. All go, hooray, yeah, just send everybody deep. Surely one of them gets open. Throw it over the middle, get it to him. No, uh, yes, I think he caught it to the 22. Hooray. Power O with three minutes left? Down by two scores, we're running power O. Like, like it worked out decently, but what is that play calling? This offensive coordinator is trying to sabotage us, I think. Like. He just really doesn't want to see us shine. My tight ends bumped into each other, awesome. Okay, third and one, I actually don't hate an inside zone here. It should be a pretty easy convert. Never mind, it's gonna be fourth down, fantastic. They called it, I got pranked by the game. I got pranked by the game, we hit the two minute warning. We had called verticals, which I already didn't like that play call. And then the two minute warning happened. I was just spamming X as you do to kind of hurry, you know, the play along. And then as I'm spamming it, Two minute warning and I select the inside zone option from the middle and there's just nothing I could do.
There's nothing I could do. Fantastic. Good play call offensive coordinator. Can we get a round of applause for the Northwestern offensive coordinator calling three run plays when you're down by two scores to Ohio State with three minutes left? That is insane. That's insane. I don't hate one of the run calls. We should have gotten the first on the inside zone, the first one. The other two, absurd. So dumb. Fire this offensive coordinator this instant. We got the ball back. Ohio State still didn't score, but now we have like zero time. If only we had gotten this ball back, you know, after after having scored ourselves. Unsurprisingly, the Northwestern Wildcats cannot defeat Ohio State. 38 to 15 is the final. I hate this offensive coordinator. Karen is texting me again. Two things. First, don't forget, you have finals on week 15. Hopefully you've been studying for them. Don't try to cram the week before. Also, your history American music class is giving extra credit. You go to a concert. Didn't, I feel like this already happened to me. GPA increased. My second start is against Michigan. I go from not being the starter in the early part of the season where we're playing less difficult opponents to now being close to the end of the season and officially being the starter. And I get to play against number three rated Ohio State and now number one rated Michigan. You know, just the the defending national champs. I'm like pretty sure that the head coach maybe wants me to die. Whoa, I am so pale. Who is shining this bright light on Jake Jackson? Turn those lights off. All right, let's get it over with. We have to play Michigan in Michigan and we're gonna absolutely die. We're gonna die. I will say Michigan has such a nice stadium. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Look at that. We don't even know the play. Like it's wiggling all over the place. This is, this is, just destined to be an absolutely miserable time for Jake Jackson. All right, let's see if we can shut this crowd up. The actual play is a jet touch pass. But obviously, we can't see the play art currently. Okay, he cuts it up. He breaks a tackle. Oh my God, he might be gone. I'm going to follow him down the field. I'm going to beat everybody there. I'm not nearly fast enough to do that, but it's a touchdown for Northwestern. What in the world? Florima way down the field off the jet touch pass. I'm telling you guys, if you're not running that play, it is money. Maybe we have a chance to upset Michigan. All I'm saying, if the game ended right now, we'd win. Well, the game didn't end right then, and now Michigan has scored. First and 10, 7-7, seven to seven, and it's our football. I've got a man. Where is that going? Okay, not close. Boy, oh boy, are we having a good time yet? Throw over the middle, incomplete, is punched out. This is the third toughest place to play in all of college football, according to the meter. We'll dump this off to the running back. Please get the first, come on. No, he dies, fourth and three. Okay, we're still hanging around. It's still just 7-7, seven, seven, and we're gonna have a run play here. Audibled it to the left. I don't think that's going anywhere. Three whole yards. For just a moment, I could see my play. We'll look to throw with Jake Jackson. Steps up in the pocket, dies. Oh, no. It's going to be a long, long day for the Northwestern Wildcats. Just get it there. No. I wanted that to the outside. I tried to pass lead it to the outside because I felt like triangle was open, but... Ball's incomplete, fourth and nine. Something tells me that that jet touch pass might have been a little bit of a fluke. First and 10, we're in the second quarter now, still all knotted up at seven. As the running back makes a move to the outside, he's got running room to work with, goes out of bounds at the 26. Northwestern is gonna win this game. Surely we find a victory, right? Play action. Oh, look at how open this tight end is. Just get it there. Diving play by the tight end. Imagine we score here and we go on to shut out Michigan the rest of the way. We get that to the wide receiver behind the linebacker. Now it's second and one. It's a read option. I have no idea who I'm supposed to read. I think it's the guy all the way out to the right. So I am just going to hand this off to the running back. He falls forward. It's first and goal. Oh, this play is a halfback direct snap. I'm not even going to touch the ball. I'm just going to go straight to the running back, and I'm just going to stand here. No, don't go help. Third and goal. Jackson to throw. Hits his man. He was not in the end zone. I also don't think he caught it. So I guess we're settling for the field goal here. Okay, it's 10-7. Northwestern is currently beating... The Michigan Wolverines. Oh, my God. What is that route? What is that throw? What is... Well, we were leading. Welcome to 14 to 10 when I see you after this next jump cut. It's 14 to 10. Michigan has the lead. Fantastic. Things you love to see. Because now we're running the ball. And it's going nowhere. Really, really good. The OC saw how that run play went. And he called another one. Second and 13. It's a draw play as well. So... It's a 
Wow. They only had a three-man rush. That's crazy. This is that wide receiver screen. Is it going to work as it did the last time? Oh, dude, if he cuts that back to the right, it might have. It's all falling apart. It's 21 to 10. I mean, Michigan is like the best team in the Big Ten, probably. I mean, it's them or Ohio State, I guess. Let's see if Jake Jackson can hold on to the football. He does. He gets to the 40. That's going to hurt the wear and tear. A minute left in the half as we look to throw. We'll go down the field, finding our man, and that's a deep pass completion. First down and 10. We look to throw again. Stepping up in the pocket. Actually, there's so much running room here. Oh, we juke back to the left. Actually, we can't really juke very well. <laughs> First and 10. Look to throw. We have our man. We got it off even with the hit. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. He should have gotten into the end zone there. First and goal. 35 seconds left. This is a read option. Do I keep it? Do I hand it off? I'm going to hand it off. I should have kept it. Dang it. I always make the wrong decisions. Less than 30 seconds. A touchdown here would be pretty big. I have no clue what the play is. I'm going to be honest. Uh, the play is to step up in the pocket and just score a touchdown with my feet. Absolutely. Touchdown Northwestern. Jake Jackson doing it with his legs. It's going to be 21 to 17 at halftime. 28-17, Michigan able to score immediately out of the half. I mean, I feel better about this game than I did against Ohio State, but it's still not going well. Second and six from the 29. Look to throw. Try to get to the running back. Oh, my God, that actually worked, even though we got absolutely drilled. First and 10 from the 39. It's that wide receiver screen again. It's worked a couple times now, and it's going to work again as he gets past the 50 to the 44 in enemy territory. First down and 10. We'll look to throw. Actually, I'm going to look to run. Dude, who is that big fella that runs that fast? That's absolutely terrifying. How can you be that large and be that fast? Second and eight. Goodness gracious. Oh, oh I had a receiver, but there's a blitz and I'm dying. No clue what the play is. Stadium pulse is just absolutely insane and we're dying again. Fantastic. Really, really good. Fourth and 14. Okay, the stadium pulse is really quieted now. We must have gotten like a turnover to just like shut this crowd up because, oh my God, they were so obnoxious and loud. Yeah, please, just stay quiet. Y'all are, like, barely beating a 4-6 and six Northwestern team. Like, you're not all that good, okay? Okay, pal. Dude, my running back just doesn't know how to run. I think I really want to do a running back road to glory. Running back road to glory is really fun. I've been doing a casual one a little bit with a couple friends, just, like, hanging out in a call and playing it. And just the movement in this game is so satisfying that a running back road to glory I think would be super, super fun. Third and eight, though in this quarterback road to glory. We'll look to throw. I don't, ah oh man, the, the guy I wanted to throw to, I didn't know his button. I assumed it was square, but I was scared to press it. Now it's fourth and 15. It's 35 to 17. I mean, this game, this game's over. It was over from the beginning. We knew it was over. It's been over. It's, oh, a broken tackle. Slide down. Yeah, 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 don't, don't die for this. I mean, we got, I think, what, one more game left in the season? First and 10. Look to throw. Oh, I'm stepping up and running again. Oh my God, look at all this space to the right side and going out of bounds. Don't touch me. First and 10. We'll look to throw. Oh man, I, yeah, no, that was so risky. Should not have thrown that check down. Sometimes like the instant I press the button, I just feel immediate regret. And that was one of those times. Second and 10, it's play action. I don't know why it's play action, to be honest with you, as that is actually caught. Third and eight. Seven minutes left in the game. I mean, definitely a must score drive. If you're Northwestern, we've got a man and he's going to make the grab. He breaks a tackle and he's inside the 20 at the 18. How many interceptions have I thrown today? Like six, one. What's the difference? Oh, they had a QB spy. Somebody go get dude. Okay. I understand. I shouldn't have stepped up. They had a QB spy. He was going to kill me. I shouldn't have stepped up anyway. What was my tight end doing? Bro was just hopping around as the ball is just on the ground in front of him. What are they doing? 35-17 still. We'll go over the... Hello? Jet touch pass? No. Made you look... Oh, we've got the running back all day. Sometimes, I know that hitting the red is not actually ideal. It makes the throw slightly less accurate and also makes it more likely to be dropped. But, like, that's also when your quarterback throws it the absolute hardest. So it is kind of nice to do sometimes because you can really just sling it in there and, and you know try to fit it in tighter windows. So there actually is some benefit sometime to it, which I think is really nice because, you know, in like Madden 24, if you're inaccurate with a throw, it's just a bad throw. Whereas being inaccurate here can actually sometimes be beneficial. Pretty neat. It's kind of a neat 
addition. I, you know what? I saw the slot fade. Did he make the catch? I think he made the catch. I can't see if he did. It looks like he did. That slot fade is so good. First and 10 from the 18. Jake Jackson, back to pass, has a man. Oh my God. I hate this game. I hate it. Get out of my way, lineman. I can't make a tackle. No way. I'm going to throw another pick six. No way. Okay, thank God. See, I tried to do the red throw. Just really sling it in there. And I missed. Game over. Michigan wins. Nobody's surprised. 35-17 to 17 is the final. I think I threw, what, three interceptions? Anyway, why do I have to play the number three and the number one teams in the country back-to-back -back in my first two starts as a collegiate athlete, as a true freshman? Like, think about it. This kid's 18 years old, playing against two of the toughest teams in all of college football as his first two starts. Like, these coaches clearly don't care about him. Okay, the final game is against Illinois, which is a much easier battle but also like the season just kind of over right even if we win this game we can't make a bowl game i should just not be a team player and just opt out of this game and then just transfer <laughs> screw you northwestern anyway that is going to do it for this episode i don't know if i will actually play this final game in the next episode but i have run out of time to record today so it might be a little bit shorter of an episode i apologize but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one where we'll finish out the season and head into our sophomore year whether that's with Northwestern or not.